previously on the Geocaching Vlogger. Guys, I'm getting close to the Gulf of Mexico because it's getting windier and the houses are getting higher. You know, this northern boy can't handle these, these warm winter temperatures. There's water on this side of the road. There's water on that side of the road. I'm really getting warm, it's just too many layers. Guys, it is Joshua the geocaching vlogger and if you've been watching my videos over the last couple weeks you know that I have been doing the Homa Louisiana Geo Tour which has been an awesome experience but I officially have my passport filled up I found a ton of the caches enough caches to redeem the coins so I'm here I'm at the visitor center there's some super nice awesome people in there I'm gonna redeem my passport for my geo coin we're gonna talk to the people that started this geo tour find out what it's all about and and you get to come along with us. Let's go in. All right, guys, we are in the Homa Visitor Center, and I have, check it out. I'm gonna hide the coats. I have the passport. I found 21 of the caches. I only needed to find 20 to actually get the geocoin. And I'm here in the Visitor Center. I'm here with Sandra. Hello. Hi, how are you? Are you the one I'm supposed to talk to to get my geocoin? That is correct. Okay, here it is. Yeah. You wanna check it out? You wanna make Let sure I got sure it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. That's... You're good to go. So yeah, very. Here oh, you go. thank you so much. All right, there is side one. That is a beautiful coin captures the spirit of the bayou and here's the other side right here so Sandra yes. you are the one that hid all the caches here how many caches are there total right now we have 26 out there. 26 caches out there mm -hmm. awesome and let me tell you they brought me to some amazing places I want to know like Sandra what is your favorite cache uh, favorite maybe couple caches of the series my favorite one I would have to say would be the Chauvin Sculpture Garden which oh, yeah. is the uh, one with the statues from the gentleman and I personally like the bayou side because it's yeah. peaceful and under Marine the main lake part because yeah. you have a nice walk into you get to see the swamp areas you get to see the scenery of the areas and it's just beautiful it is just beautiful it's yeah. like another world to me mm -hmm. and so you guys get to see that sculpture garden you got to see walk through the bayou even though I was a little afraid of alligators but you know what these alligators yeah, wait, they, they, people, people are like I don't want to come down the bayou because I might have got eaten by a an alligator, what would you tell them? Now tell them you can go eat alligator you at can, the restaurant you can rather eat, than eat you. <laughs> you can eat alligator at the restaurant. And there is some amazing food mm -hmm. here. The people are so nice. What is the future of the Geo Tour? Because you got these great caches mm -hmm. out, you got these great locations, but you got something coming up soon. Actually, probably it's going to be at the end of March, most likely. We have phase two of the Home of Travel okay. coming out, and this will be more of a puzzle and gadget. Um, caches and awesome. there will be a second coin in the, in the collection as well oh my gosh so they're gonna have i, I gotta come back yes of course <laughs> you have to come back but they're gonna have a part two and they're going to be like gadget caches mm -hmm. and if you guys don't know what a gadget cache is uh it's it's a geocache where the cache is easy to find yes but getting into it is difficult. We have exclusive, something exclusive for mm -hmm. you. I've seen gadget caches on the floor mm -hmm. right now. Do you funny. mind showing us just no, a little quick preview enough. of some of these? Not all right, enough. let's check them out. Look at this, guys. Oh my gosh, there are so many birdhouses here. Look at this. Oh, there is a, there's a Lego geocache. Oh, and there's one with numbers on it. Oh my, there are so many things. These are gonna be, oh, that is adorable. Okay. So Sandra, did you um, did you create these yourself? Did you create them? I actually purchased the birdhouses, but as far as the puzzle wise, that was done by myself and in cooperation with my daughter. I have to give her a shout out because if I don't, she will <laughs> give me. But with Gabby and myself, and we've actually went and did this. Okay. Well, thank you so much for showing me no. uh, the thank future you. of this geo tour. Thanks for partnering with us and allowing us to experience the beauty of the bayou. Well, we're so excited you guys came down to visit us and give us the exposure that we need of Homa. We, we awesome. really appreciate you guys coming down. Awesome, thank, thank you. you. Yay! All right, now that I have got my geo coin, I think it's time to celebrate with a little bit more Southern food and maybe a little bit of dancing at the Bayou Delight. Hey guys, so I am at the Bayou Delight. After a hard day of geocaching, we are here for a little bite to eat and a lot of dancing too. This place is authentic. This is the real deal. This is real Louisiana. So we're gonna get some fried chicken. Maybe we're gonna do a little dancing, but this place is so adorable. <laughs> Oh, 
All right, guys, I cannot think of a better way to cap off an evening than a little dancing and a little fried food at the Bayou Delight. What a quaint, beautiful, great little place. If you're ever in the Homa area, make sure after you do some geocaching that you check out this quaint little place for some Friday night dancing and some fried chicken. I found it. I found it. All right, I'm gonna sign this. Holy cow. This is really far south. I'm really getting bored. There's just too many layers. 